Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Sarah Malcolm and this video is well, it's long overdue, isn't it? It has been such a long time since I posted a YouTube flow, a yoga flow, and you'll have to bear with me. It's a bit of a makeshift situation going on right now, but this video was actually heavily requested. It was one that we did a couple of weeks ago on my Zoom online yoga class, and so many of my students asked for me to film it to put it on YouTube. So this is what I'm doing. It's a lovely hip mobility, hip release flow. So if like me, you hold a lot of tension in your jaw and your hips, because they're all so related, we're gonna get into that and hopefully feel just really yummy. So set yourself up in whatever space you have and we'll get started. <music> your back and then just find somewhere really sort of soft in the shoulders and spine that like you can really sort of land yourself there and then option to take the knees out wide this is the offering into Supta Padakonasana so soles of the feet together if that feels instantly quite sort of fiery and angry and all sorts in the hips then maybe cross your legs or just let the legs come out long so choose something that feels just nice to get into and then close your eyes and let your arms just be down by your side for a moment and really feel like the ground can can just take the weight of everything everything we're feeling right now everything in the body feel as though the ground is almost coming up towards you to hug you in so you really don't have to hold on to any effort just completely surrender and release into this moment let there be real softness through the face. So release any effort around the muscles of the eyes, the jaw. Maybe you stick your tongue out for a moment, it might feel nice. <laughs> and then allow your right hand to come to your belly. And for a moment, just receive that. Maybe you give yourself a little pet, a little stroke there. And then find a little bit of stillness on that pressure and start to send your breath into your right hand. So all the way into the belly, feeling as though the breath can reflect into the hand and then that reflection just falls back. So really notice the journey of the breath. And with each exhale, let that be an invitation to just soften and sort of earth into the ground a little more. And then let your left hand come to your heart space. Receive that touch there again. You might give a little stroke, maybe a softening sensation into the chest. And now let the breath travel to both hands equally. And really feeling the, that the breath could move to every corner and crevice around the body really just fill you up and again with each exhale this invitation to just land a little deeper let the breath be really slow and lengthy and then together we'll take a big deep inhale all the way through the nose fill the body up with air and then let it go through the mouth big sigh out <sighs> And now if your knees are out wide, just bring your hands to your thighs. Allow your knees to close together. So using your hands, close your knees together. Ooh, that might already feel quite a lot in the hips. And then just start to hug your knees in towards your chest. So if your legs are out long, you can join us here as well. Hug your knees in and just take a little rock side to side. Keep the face really soft. Shoulders have minimal effort here. Just self massage through the spine. And now let your hands come to your knees, keeping your big toes sort of, sort of touching. Start to draw big circles in opposite directions with the knees. So you take them all the way out to the side and then pull them away from the body and then let them come back in towards the chest. And just move through a few circles like this. 
again with every exhale, this beautiful invitation to just soften in. And then start to take your circles out of the way. And see this as just a kind of playfulness into the hip socket, the hip joint. And we're all so different in this part of the body. Well, everywhere in the body, but especially in the hips. Typically women will be a lot more open. So just really feel into your own body and how you're arriving physically here. Yeah, really nice. And then find some stillness again. And just let the left foot come down to the ground so your knee is pointing up. Give your right knee another little snuggle in towards you. And now flex your right foot as you cross the right foot over the left thigh. Use your right hand to just gently press the right thigh away, broadening through the right hip flexor. So really use the heel of your hand here. And then maybe you take a little sway left to right. Let the face and the jaw remain really nice and gooey and soft. And then this might be more than enough for you today. Just feeling into this. Stick with that if it is. Otherwise, interlace your hands behind your left thigh and just starting to draw your left leg towards you as the right elbow presses your right leg away. And again, you might just be here in stillness and really, really feeling this or option to take a little sway left to right. You might even reach the left leg up and roll through the left ankle. Let the breath be continuous. And then we're just going to release that left foot comes down, draw the right knee back in towards the chest and then plant the right foot down. Take it to the other side, snuggle your left leg in, give it a little encouraging squeeze and then flex your left foot. Left foot comes over the right thigh. Use your left hand to press the leg, left leg away, really get into the heel of the hand, broaden through the left hip flexor. I feel like you can really create space there. And then again, maybe a little rock side to side, letting this trickle up through the spine, self massage. Oh yeah, again, stay with this if this was enough on the other side. Otherwise, interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Draw the right leg towards you as your left elbow just presses the left leg away. Keep flexing your left foot, maybe find a sway, Maybe reach the right foot up and take a little roll out through the ankle. Maybe you've got some clicks going on there. Mine definitely just clicked. And then release. The right leg comes down. Unravel the left leg. And then re-hug your knees in towards your chest. Take another little rock side to side. And then we're going to start to rock and roll up and down the spine. So you might start really sort of slow and, and almost floppy for this. But let momentum start to build so that you really find this rock and roll up and down the spine. You might find a little hover at the top to release back down. Really let this be a self massage all the way up and down the spine. And then when you feel like, gosh, I'm so done rocking and rolling, we're gonna let the hands come down to the ground in front of us. Unravel, very close to my TV here. Unravel, unravel and arrive into a tabletop. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath your hip points and spread really wide into the hands. Press your fingertips down and let the knuckles of your fingers lift off a little bit. And then find a slight tuck of your tailbone, draw up through your pelvic floor as you hug your belly in. So we have Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha engaging here. And then just puff up slightly between the shoulders, tuck your chin towards your chest and take a really big breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Nice, do that again. Feel as though you're fogging a mirror with your breath. Inhale, big sigh out. And now inhale through the nose. Keep that same sighing sensation, but exhale through the nose. This is where ujjayi breath starts to come into play. This strong, victorious breath washing through the back of the throat. So it's quite audible. Now let's marry this breath to some movement in the body. So as you inhale, tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Allow your belly to just melt to the floor as your heart space glides forward. Shoulders move away from the ears and the neck stays nice and long. And as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Press your ground, press your ground or the ground away. Dome your shoulders. Navel draws in as your tailbone tucks underneath you. And then just move through like that. So as you inhale, belly drops, heart space glides forward. The neck stays lovely and long. And as you exhale, rounding through. So just moving through our cat cow here. 
being with the breath at all times, link that, invite the movement through, inhaling to lift the heart and exhaling to take it round. And rather than just sort of popping and popping and locking here, can you really feel the articulation through the spine as you move here? Yeah, nice. And then find a little bit of stillness again in your sort of center tabletop. We're gonna to start to take big circles round through the hips. So whatever way calls your name, just move into that. Big circles, just start to feel into the outer hips and get into this. If you feel like this inspires some movement through the shoulder, the head, let that travel in too. And then maybe you reach your hands a little further in front of you so you can really let the pelvis drop down as you take these big circles. Maybe close your eyes and I feel your knee. And then reverse it, take it the other way. And there's really no right or wrong here. It doesn't have to look a certain way. You might look completely different to me. Wonderfully, that's the beauty of our bodies and yoga. Everything is different, right? And then find center once more. Allow the hands to draw a little closer underneath you. So maybe even slightly further in towards you than underneath your shoulders, ever so slightly. Take your feet as wide as your mat, tuck your toes and start to lift your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. But let this down dog be quite short, a lot shorter than you'd sort of want it to be. Press down through the fingertips again and then start to hover your left hand off the ground. Bend your left knee a lot as you draw back through your right hip and let your left hand just come around towards your right ankle or your calf, your shin, as you pour your heart space underneath your armpit. Soften the face and the head, take a big breath in. And a big breath out, release the left hand back down. We're just gonna take it to the other side, bend the right knee a lot. Left leg lengthens as you draw the left hip back. Right hand comes to the right, sorry, the left ankle, left shin or calf. Pull the head, the chest underneath the left armpit as you press the ground away through the left hand. Inhale. Exhale, release. Hand comes back to the mat. Now start to pad your hands on your fingertips towards your feet. Bend your knees and just fold the body in here. And then just start to take a little sway left or right. So maybe that your hands are on the ground. If so, you can use them to just sort of trace the ground here. Or if your hands don't reach, just completely let the head be heavy. And let this swaying come from the hips rather than the spine here or the shoulders. Just softening everything in. And now find center again. Heel toe your feet so they flush underneath your hips. Bend your knees, press down through the feet as you slowly roll up through the spine. Bone by bone, just really take your time with this. And as you come to stand, if you're still moving, no rush, take a few rolls of the shoulders. Let there be some sort of softness in the knees, like this buoyancy element, like you're sort of floating and bobbing on water. And then spread your feet really wide on your mat. So if you like, you could spread your toes wide. Nice, and as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. We're gonna to start to interlace our hands above our head. I'm just bringing it down to show you. And then bring your, your first fingers together, your index fingers together to touch. So we come into Kali Mudra, this sort of Charlie's Angels vibe. And just reach that high above you. Start to take big circles through the hips now as you also circle the hands above your head. So feel like you could draw a halo just above your head as you really get into the shoulders, the hips, and let this be really fluid. Close your eyes, and again, it really doesn't need to look a certain way. In fact, it might be very different every time you even come to this same practice. And just really feel into it. Slow the breath, be in the body, and then start to take the circles the other way. You might have a habitual way that always feels normal and the other way kind of feels slightly off. <laughs> so normal. And then find center again, reach up through your fingertips, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, separate the hands, hinge from the hips, bend the knees and let the belly fold all the way over the thighs as you come down into forward fold Uttanasana. As you inhale, trace the front of your legs with your hands, bring your hands to your shins, elbows squeeze in, draw the belly in, lengthen the heart. And as you exhale, just fold back into this.
start to pad your hands out and come into a high plank, but really take your time with this. Feel as though it's quite sort of primal, this movement to get there. And then just arrange yourself into your high plank. Hands are underneath the shoulders, spread wide into the fingers, and again, press the fingertips down into the ground. Now squeeze your glutes, press your heels away as you dome your shoulders. Draw your front body in towards your back body, and just resist the urge to panic in this. Slow your breath, maybe smile a little bit, and take a big inhale. And then on your exhale, lower your knees down to the ground as you untuck your toes. Elbows squeeze into the side waist, lay your body down, thighs, belly and chest. Now hands come off the edges of your mat, come onto your fingertips. Press the tops of your feet into the earth so your kneecaps lift and then tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes. As you inhale, peel up through the spine, rise the chest. On your exhale, feel like you could, gr you could grow the spine as you just pull the body back down, release. Take that once more, legs are switched on. Inhale, ripple up, hence the last thing to come up. And then exhale, take it back down. Hands are underneath the shoulders again. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, come to your downward facing dog. And now this is a sort of lovely full length down dog. So maybe it feels good to paddle through the feet, bending one knee and the other. Or maybe you need some stillness here and just to really land in the body, tuning into what you need. Every day is gonna be so different, right? So really just surrender into the moment. Eventually we'll find some stillness in our down dog. And on an inhale, start to rise the right leg up to a three-legged dog. Allow the right knee to stack over you. Stack the hips rather, so bend the right knee, stack the hips and draw the right heel towards the left glute or just the glutes. And then notice if you sort of collapse in the left shoulder, can you press evenly through both hands and really flex the right foot here, just feel into the hip, take a full breath in. Now on your exhale, draw your right knee towards your right elbow, weight comes forward, shoulders past the wrists. And as you inhale, sweep the right leg back up, dance open the hip. Exhale, right knee to right, sorry, left elbow, twist the body, shoulders past the wrists. Inhale, sweep the hip back open, dance it open. And as you exhale now, right knee comes forward again to the right elbow. And now can you silently, gracefully plant the right foot down to the ground. Come into this lizard pose, just sort of arriving into this, feeling into the body, taking a little sway forward and back. Yeah, soften the jaw. Left hand stays planted. As you inhale, peel up through the right arm, broaden through the chest and find a nice big twist here. And as you exhale, just release that right hand comes down. Now start to turn your right foot out towards the right and then heel toe the foot about a third way down the mat. Turn onto the outside edge of your left foot and flex that left foot a lot. So rather than sort of sickling into the left ankle here, really flex it and press the ground away. Inhale, peel up through your right arm. You're pressing the ground away through your left hand. And as you exhale, we're gonna to start to dip the left hip down towards the ground. Reach your right arm back. Inhale, rise the hips back up, lift. Be with the breath. Exhale, we take it twice more. Left hip dips, keep it hovering. Inhale, rise. Exhale, the hip comes down, reach the right arm back. Inhale, rise all the way up. Turn your toes back round and bring your hands to the inside edge of your right foot. I'm just gonna pivot round so you can see me. Now, we're gonna start to walk the hands down the left side of the mat. Turn your left toes out. Start to lunge into the left knee as we come to Skandasana. So this lovely lunging here. Straighten your right leg and flex your right foot. Now this already might feel like a lot. <laughs> so just breathe into it. The hands can be on the ground for support. Maybe you can get your left heel down, just maybe. Hands can come to the heart space. So you have two options, either on the floor or hands at the heart space, lengthening through, through the front body. If you want to take this just a little bit further or you're exploring this, start to reach your hands almost a diagonal line away from your pelvis. Fingertips press down as you draw your chin in towards your chest, dome your shoulders and almost round the spine here. Breathe slowly. Let your breath move into your back ribs. Take a big inhale. 
And a big exhale. Start to walk your hands back in towards you. Yes, lovely. Now padding yourself all the way back round, come back to the top of your mat. Heel to your right foot to the right side of your mat so your toes splay off. Hands are underneath the shoulders. We're going to step the left foot to the outside edge of the left hand. Come into a malasana squat, allowing the bum to come down. And straight away, we're just going to find some movement here. So having a little wiggle out through the feet, the hips, the hands can be down for support again. Or if you're feeling particularly frisky today, maybe the forearms come to the thighs. Maybe you even reach the arms up overhead. Yes. Nothing too serious here, just really get into this. Slow the breath. Notice where the mind goes when the tough stuff just starts to happen in the hips. And then we'll find a little bit of stillness. Maybe the heels are up or down. Hands can either come to the heart center here, pressing palm to palm in towards one another, or palms are open, lengthen the chest. It's really attractive on this one. Take a full breath in. And on your exhale, hands come down, let the hips travel high, let your feet heel toe underneath your hips again. On an inhale, ripple halfway. And as you exhale, just fold the body back down. Now press down through the feet, start to reach the arms all the way up overhead as you rise. And as you exhale, take it straight back down. Hands can come wide or pour your hands down through heart center in prayer. Come to Uttanasana forward fold. As we inhale, take a halfway lift. Hands can either stay on the ground, come to the shins or back to the thighs like we did before. Lengthen halfway, navel draws in. Exhale, fold, release. Plant your hands, step back into a high plank position and just rearrange yourself here. Shoulders over the wrists, draw the front body in. Take an inhale. On your exhale now, you can either go back down to the knees like we did before or shift your weight forward, shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, come halfway down, elbows squeeze in. Chaturanga, and as you inhale, tuck the toes, rise the body, upward facing dog, squeezing the glutes, or in our cobra. And as you exhale, hips travel high, downward facing dog. Reland in this. Again, if you need some movement, let the movement come in. Or maybe stillness is just wonderfully beneficial right now. Take a full inhale. A really big exhale. And as you inhale, left leg starts to rise. We do all of that again on the other side. Bend your left knee. Stack and open your hips. Draw your left heel towards your glutes. Again, notice if you're collapsing in the right shoulder, press evenly through both hands. Inhale fully. As you exhale, left knee to left elbow, weight comes forward, shoulders past the wrists. Inhale, sweep it back up, three-legged dog, dance the hip open. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, weight comes forward. Inhale, reopen. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, and now to gracefully, silently step your left foot to the outside edge of your left hand. Maybe you needed some encouragement to get it there, so just re-land into this, take a little wiggle out. Right hand stays planted, and as you inhale, peel up through the left arm, broaden the chest, find, an e find a big old twister. Exhale, bring the left hand back down. Now start to turn your left toes to the left side, left foot toes to the, turns to the left side. Heel toe the left foot about a third way down your mat. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Again, flex your right foot a lot here, rather than just collapsing into the ankle. Flex it as you lift your left hip high, left arm reaches up, take a big inhale. Exhale, we dip the right hip down, reach the left arm back. Stay active in the right leg, inhale, rise. We take that twice more. Exhale, release, just pull the body into this. Keep activating through the right hand. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release, right hip dips, and then inhale, rise back up. Turn the toes back forward, hands to the inside edge of your left foot. Now we start to walk the hands round, down the right side of the mat, turn the right toes out, skandhasana to the right leg now. So lunging into the right leg, flexing your left foot, and pointing your left toes. I think I just said the complete opposite then. Straighten your left leg, basically just arrive into this. Again, the heel can be down or up here. Maybe your hands are just here for support. Maybe this feels 
really intense. It's allowed to, it's so fine. Your hands can be at your heart, or again, start to walk your hands in almost a diagonal line away from you. Pad down through the fingertips, tuck your chin to your chest, dome your shoulders and just round the spine here. Wherever you are, breathe slowly. Can you find something to soften in this, in all this beauty? Take an inhale, then exhale. And then just start to walk your hands back towards you if they're in. Slowly we take it all the way back round to the top of the mat. Turn on your feet, heel to your left foot out to the left side of the mat. Hands plant, step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. We come back to a malasana squat. Now that we've been here before, this might feel slightly different, it might not. Maybe movement is needed again. So option to be with that. Or find this little bit of stillness, hands at the heart. If your hands are here and you're in this stillness, press palm to palm as the elbows press the legs away and the legs almost press back into the arms here. So you've got this full connection going on and then really broaden through the front body, soften the jaw a lot. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, hands come down, hips travel high, heel toe the feet so they flush together this time. And as you inhale, take a halfway lift. On your exhale, fold in. Start to bend through your knees, sit your bum back like you're sitting in a chair, and then we come to Ukutasana chair pose. Arms reach forward. Let this be just quite soft, so rather than coming into this really rigidly, bend your knees. Make sure you can glance down at your toes if you can't, Shift your weight back a little bit, and then just let there be some sort of softness. It might be just in the face. It's called awkward pose. That's what, what it translates into. So we're feeling it awkwardly. Take a big breath in, a big breath out. And as you inhale, press down through the feet, just reach the arms back up. On your exhale, hands pour down through heart center. Just connect here, pause, close the eyes and feel this real presence of earthing through the feet as the rest of the body almost lifts up. Feel like you could be higher than the top of your head here. There's so much presence in this. And then we're just gonna start to pour our weight into the left foot. Right knee starts to come in towards the chest. Flex your right foot. Notice if you've dumped into the left hip here, can you actively draw up through both side waists as you press down through the left foot. Now we're gonna to start to take some nice big juicy circles through the right hip. So allowing the right knee to come out wide. Have some sort of softness in the left knee, but rather than completely letting it go, just a little bit of softness. And then really slowly just taking these circles through the right hip. Presence of breath is here, hopefully. Hopefully you're breathing. And just again, explore the shape of your own hip socket here. So we're going to be so different. Keep the right foot flexed so we feel it into the hip rather than the knee or the ankle. And then start to take it the other way. Maybe you close your eyes if you're feeling particularly daring. Just really feel into this sensation. Oh yeah. And then eventually we'll find a little bit of stillness with the right leg out wide. Coming into tree pose, Rikshasana. Either allowing the right foot to come to the left inner thigh, if that's available for you, or calf or ankle. Allow the right hip to just broaden back. So wherever you are, bring the hands back into your prayer. Roll the shoulders and then really feel this active line of energy drawing up through the front body. Let your left thigh press into your right foot as your right foot presses back, wherever your right foot is. And then option to just stay with the hands here or reach your arms up and find this full expression. Maybe take a little sway left to right like a tree swaying in, in the breeze. Again, an option to close your eyes. And just sort of test the balance. If you fall, you fall. And we get back up. The beauty of moving through this hard stuff. Yes, take one more inhale. And as you exhale, if the arms are up, bring the hands back down. Draw your right knee in towards the chest. Don't let it drop, I'm just shimmying around. And then start to step your right foot back. We hover in a warrior three. Arms can reach out long or stay at the heart. 
and then very gracefully bend the left knee, let the right foot land behind you. Come into a high lunge, but straight away, straighten both legs. Take a big breath in, reach up. And as you exhale, hands come down to the inside of your left foot. Now we're going to start to work back into the right leg into Skandasana. So pivot all the way down your mat, turn your right foot out, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, flex your left foot. Hands now can either be on the floor or you bring them away. Now, if this is particularly fiery for you, just stick with this. Just be here, just breathe, let the breath really slow and really feel how you can use it. Otherwise, we're going to come to all sorts of fun. <laughs> so you can either use the hands here or again, keep them on the floor for support. We're going to very gracefully let your bum land behind you. So you bring the bum down. Again, hands can be used. Right knee comes in towards the left knee as you just lift your heart over the left thigh, left leg. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, reopen your right knee, press your right foot down as you just rise back up. Oh yeah, simple, hey? Eh? <laughs> now we're gonna take it to the left leg. Stay as low as you can and be as slow as you can here. Take it all the way into the left leg, flex your right foot, and we take it just the same on the other side. So the bum lands, slowly. Left knee draws in towards the right knee, inhale, lengthen the chest. Exhale, reopen the left knee, rise back up. Hope you're still with me for this. Let the hands come to the ground, and then just find yourself in um, sort of center down your mat, like a really big malasana here. Turn the toes out and then let the body just dangle over here and slowly draw the chin towards the chest as you roll up through the spine. Oh, my legs are really shaking. Bone by bone, just arrive. Let the hands come to the thighs in goddess and we'll just sort of wiggle out through the legs. And rather than the knees collapsing in, can you really draw them out so the knees are over the ankles? Press down through the feet, and as you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Straighten both legs. And as you exhale, really bend, elbows come wide. Inhale, re-rise, press the ground away, soft faces. And as you exhale, come back down. We have one more like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Yes. Now inhale, pivot onto the feet, onto the left foot. Turn back into your high lunge, and as you exhale, can you draw the right knee all the way up in towards the chest? Flex your right foot, knee draws in. Now start to allow the right foot, and all sorts of wobbles, right foot over the left thigh. Bend your left knee, sit your bum back as your hands come into prayer, and you reach your chest forward. So it's very similar to what we did on the floor, but it's just a little bit added extra balance wobble. <laughs> so really just feel into this. Be where you need to be, maybe the arms reach forward. If you would like to, you can let the hands come down and fold into this. Keep the right foot flexed and really slow your breath here. Be just even and floaty with this. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. And if you're down on the inhale, we rise up. I pivot back round, <laughs> and as you exhale, step the right foot all the way to the back of your mat, hands plant, silently let the left foot come back, downward facing dog. Just re-arrive into this. Option to now stay in your down dog, or find a ripple on your inhale, come forward into a high plank, either knees down or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise, up dog or cobra, press the ground away. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Slow your breath. If you stayed in the down dog, we're just meeting you here. And then bend your knees, bring your gaze between your hands. Take a step, jump or float to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, ripple halfway. And as you exhale, fold. Press down through the feet, reach your arms all the way up overhead to rise. And on your exhale, hands pour down to your heart center. Again, just close the eyes. Let the presence of the self just really be here, this beating heart. Maybe the warmth of your own body. The power of your breath, really slow it down. And then start to just pour your weight into your right foot. 
left knee comes in towards the chest. Let there be some sort of softness in the right leg. Big circles through the left hip. We've got all the fun to do on this leg as well. Oh yes. So just take it really easy. One leg might feel completely different to the other. Feel into it. Maybe close your eyes and then take the circles the other way. I'm very hot. <laughs> now leave the knee out wide as we take the foot and come to tree pose, Rukshasana. So again, the foot can come to the right inner thigh or down on the calf or on the ankle, just broaden open through the hip. Press the right foot down and then lift this line of energy all the way up through the body. Right leg and left foot are pressing in towards one another, like they're trying to really just rough each other up here. It's a very weird analogy, Sarah. You know what I mean though, hopefully. And then hands can stay at the heart or reach up overhead. Maybe again, you find this little sway through the side waists. If you're feeling wild, close your eyes. Presence of breath. Take one more inhale, one more exhale, and then just gently release. Left knee comes in towards the chest. As gracefully as you can, sweep the left leg back, come to warrior three just for a moment. Bend the right knee as you land the left foot all the way behind, into a lunge. Straight away, straighten both legs, reach the arms up, inhale. And on your exhale, hands pour down. Bring them to the inside edge of your right foot. Now slowly, we're gonna to come to Skandasana in the left leg. Now you remember what's coming, and we know what's coming, and how much fun there is to be had. Flex your right foot. Now if you, want, if you did something else on the other side, maybe you stayed in stillness, or the hands were here for support the whole time, maybe just give this a go. <laughs> Explore what you can, and just really breathe, move into it. So we land the bum behind. Left knee comes in towards the right. Lift the heart, take a breath in. Exhale, reopen. Rise back up. Yes. Now as slowly as we can, we take it to the right side. Hands can be down for support or away. Really take this slowly. Often the stuff that we want to move through quickly is the stuff that needs more attention, right? As with life, left foot flexes. Slowly the bum comes down. Right knee comes in, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, reopen, re-rise. Hands are down for support, find center here. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Turn the toes out, bend your knees. So we're in again this like nice big malasana and then roll up through the spine. Goddess pose. Soften the shoulders, take the arms out wide now and just broaden through the chest, take a breath in. And as you exhale, round the shoulders, draw your hands in towards you. As you feel in the nicest way possible, you're being punched in the belly, draw the chin to the chest. And then take two more like that, inhale, broaden, open. As you exhale, round through. Use the breath, soften the face, inhale. And as you exhale, round. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, just land into this. And we're gonna turn back onto the right leg into your lunge. So pivot on the ball of the back foot, rise up, inhale. On your exhale now, left knee comes all the way up as you draw into the chest and stand. Flex your left foot, let it come over your right thigh. Bend into the right knee as if you're sitting back into your chair, heart space glides forwards. Hands are either in prayer or you can reach them. Feel as though the body is being pulled in two different directions here. And then again, hands can come down as you fold into this, but keep the left foot flexing. Actively soften the jaw. Just notice if any tension has crept back in. Take one more breath in here. One more breath out. And as you inhale, we rise back up with control, hopefully. Let the left foot land at the back of the mat. Hands come down. Step the right foot back, down replacing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. 
Now you can either stay in your down dog or again, ripple the spine forward, come into your high plank. Exhale, either knees down or chaturanga. Inhale, tuck the toes, rise the chest, press the ground away. And as you exhale, hips travel high, downward facing dog. Now take a really big, full breath. Let the breath really travel to every little crevice of the body. And a big exhale. On your inhale now, just start to reach your right leg back up, three-legged dog. And then ripple your spine forward. Come into a high plank with the right leg lifted. Allow your left knee to come down. <laughs> and just sort out your hair. <laughs> Hands underneath your shoulders. Now untuck your left toes. Reach the right leg back on an inhale. And as you exhale, round through the spine, draw your right knee all the way up towards the chest. So you can step your right foot over your left leg and bring the right foot to the left side of the mat. Just land that for a moment. Snuggle the knees quite close towards one another so you're not all the way up here. And then weight pause into the hands and the right leg. We're going to take that with the left leg. So left knee comes in, round the spine. Step the left foot to the right side of the mat. Left knee is now over the right. Can you do this one more time without the hands coming away from the ground? So feel like it's kind of like a child crawling into a really tight space here. Dome the shoulders. Right knee comes in. Right foot comes over. So now the right knee is in front of the left. Both feet are as wide as the mat. Use your hands to just gently pad yourself down to your seat. <sighs> Breathe, just soften. So if that didn't make any sense and you're very confused now, we're now seated with the right leg over the left. You should just be able to see your right knee here. Feet are out wide. We're in cow face pose with the legs. If you have a cushion or a block or anything you want to just sit yourself up on, you can do that now. That might be, feel quite yummy. And then inhale, take the arms really wide. And as you exhale, bring your right arm underneath your left arm as you bind the arms. So either backs of the palms, backs of the hands together or the palms in a double bind. Roll your shoulders. And as you inhale, lengthen your elbows and your hands away from your face. Lift your chest just fine. On your exhale now, just start to pour your weight forward into the legs. Now this might feel like, oh gosh, this is more than enough. <laughs> so just stay where you are and breathe. If this arm variation is working wonders in between your scapula and your shoulder blades, stay with it. Otherwise, you can just unravel the arms and maybe use the hands for support as you fold in a little more. Now, just notice where the mind goes when we find a little bit of stillness. Where the sensation moves to. Can you really let yourself just very simply be here, be in this practice, be in your body? Slow the breath, use it, soften the jaw. Take another inhale, another exhale. And as you inhale, just rise the body back up. Let your hands come behind you for support. And just move the legs a little further away from you. Now we're gonna come into a double pigeon. So the left leg is in front and it's kind of paralleling with the front of the mat here. Flex your left foot. And now the right leg is going to come over the top so right knee is on top of the left foot, right foot is on top of the left knee. Now again, you can use a pillow or a block or anything you need to sit on. Otherwise, if this feels too much as well, I can, I can give you more. The right foot can come, right leg can come in the front of the left. So if being here is, oh gosh, too much, bring the right foot in front. Now, we're gonna bring our hands behind us. Press really firmly down onto your fingertips and feel like you could press the ground away there. So rather than sitting all the way back here, which gosh, is lots in the hips, lift your seat up. Feel like you could rock your body weight forward into the legs. Now, maybe you just stay here. This might be enough. Take a big inhale. And on your exhale, maybe you just soften something or start to pull the body a little bit further forward and you can start to move the hands in front as you slowly journey into this. And there really is no rush, no destination here. Just let the breath invite a surrender. It really is the stuff that 
that needs our attention, that makes us feel uncomfortable, that we need to give our time to, give our attention, give our love. So just listen, just receive what the body is telling you. Slow the breath, soften the jaw. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. And as you inhale, press the ground away if you're down, rise back up. Yes. Now if you're sat on a block or a cushion, just release that. Bring your hands behind you, unravel the legs. Take your feet as wide as your mat and just start to windscreen wiper the knees left to right. Ooh. Yeah. Now, if you feel like you have energy to move through here, we're gonna find a little rock, maybe forward and back up and down the spine. If you have a jump through to Chaturanga, you are of course welcome to take it, either finding one last flow or going straight to downward facing dog. I'm actually gonna head straight to downward facing dog because that's where my energy is needed. But if you do want to find a flow, take a little rock forward and back, Plant the hands, step back either down dog or plank and jump through. Otherwise, hands just plant and we come straight down with facing dog. So if you're moving, let the breath guide that. And we'll all meet in a downward facing dog when you're ready, if you're still flowing. Otherwise, you're in your down dog with me. And we're just here, breathing. <laughs> and then left leg lifts, inhale. As you exhale, roll the spine forward, come into a plank and then let the right knee come down. And again, now you know what fun is to be had. Untuck the toes. Left knee draws all the way into the body, dome through the spine. Left foot comes to the right side of the mat. Twice more, pull your weight forward. Right knee comes in, feel like you're crawling into a really small space. Can you keep the heels of the hands on the ground? And then left knee comes in. Plant the foot down and then land your bum. Oh yes. So again, if you got lost in that, right leg is now over the left. It should be the opposite of what you just did on the other side. You should just be able to see your left knee here. So from the front like this. Feet are out wide. Again, if you have a cushion or a block, you can sit up on this. Take an inhale, reach your arms out, broaden through the chest. And as you exhale, left arm comes underneath your right arm as you find a bind here. Either the backs of the hands touch or the palms. Roll your shoulders. On an inhale, lengthen the elbows, the hands away from the face as you reach up through the spine. And on your exhale, just start to pour your weight slightly further forward. And again, you can optionally unravel the arms, let them come down for support. Close your eyes and just really let the breath guide you into this. Just be slow, be listening, receiving, surrendering. One more breath in, one more breath out. And as you inhale, re-rise. Yeah, we're gonna take double pigeon on the other side. So this time right leg is kind of paralleling with the top of the mat. So the leg is slightly further away from the pelvis. Left leg is now coming on top. So you should be able to see a nice big triangle in between your legs, rather than the legs being all the way here, they're further away. Again, the left, foot, left leg can come in front if that feels too much like this. Hands behind you, press down through the fingertips, roll the shoulders as you really inhale, lift yourself away from the ground. Feel like you could almost levitate here, <laughs> that sort of sensation. And then as you exhale, maybe you just find something to soften. It might be the jaw, or you start to walk your hands a little further towards you and you might be able to take them out long. Again, really no destination. A lot of the time, the beauty is actually in feeling this. And if we're feeling it a lot, that is just even more joy <laughs> to soften, to be here in our own bodies. I often say if you're super sort of flexible and you don't feel as much, and what's the fun in that? Take an inhale. Take an exhale. And as you inhale, just rise the body up. 
if you're sat on a cushion or a brick, take it out from underneath you. Hands back for support. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And then again, just find a little sway through the hips, left to right. Oh yeah. And then let your feet come hip width distance apart. If you're quite far down your mat, just shimmy forward a little bit. Reach your arms out long, take an inhale. And on your exhale, slowly just unravel, coming all the way down to the spine. If at any point you just want to collapse, you can. Otherwise, control the release down. And then take your arms just out by your sides. Heel to your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees fall towards the right. Maybe you reach a little further out with the arms. Maybe you bend the elbows. Option to now bring your right foot, right heel, right foot over your left thigh, just above your left knee. And just breathe into the left side of the body. Let the earth really just take the weight of you here. So all you have to do is soften, is release, is listen. Take a breath in and a breath out. And release the right foot if it's on the leg. Draw the knees up through centre and then just knock them towards the left. Again, the left foot can now come just on top of the right knee, just above it on the thigh. Breathe into the right side body. Release any effort through the shoulders, the face, the jaw. Take a big inhale. An even bigger exhale. Let the left foot release off the leg. And then coming back up through centre with the knees. And we're just going to send the legs out long now and if you've got time to just enjoy a shavasana then reach your arms down by your side legs out long soften the shoulders close your eyes take a really big inhale and a big sigh out through the mouth as you exhale and if you've got time to stay here maybe just pause the video for a while and just really let all of the, the echo of our practice be felt in the body. Just really trust all that's going on, all that we've moved through. If that is all you have time for today, either rolling onto one side or just peeling the body up, we're going to rise to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Close your eyes and let your hands come together in prayer at your heart. Take a slight roll of your shoulders and lift your heart space to your thumbs. Really soften any effort through the face. And just coming back to, to a sensation here, to breath, to the heartbeat behind your thumbs. Take a really big inhale. A big exhale. <sighs> and bowing your head to your hands, to your heart. Just thanking yourself for creating this space, for taking this time to be in your own body. Sometimes the hardest part is just showing up. And that is all we need. Namaste. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Hopefully that was of lovely use to you. You can come back to this video whenever you feel like the hips could just do with some love. We do hold so much tension and motion in our hips. So if you do feel quite tearful after that practice, it is completely normal. Let yourself feel that beautiful release in the body. And I shall hopefully be bringing you more flows very soon. Stay subscribed to my channel so you keep up to date. Lots of love to you all.